Hi, buddies and girls. Welcome back for another video. And today's video is June favorites. Yes, it's all, it's about that time. It's about that time. Yes, it is time for favorites. Let's get straight into these. I do have some hair favorites and we're going to just jump right into these because I don't know. I might leave it in this video, but Joseph would not let me be great and get through some other favorites. So I'm, I'm going to throw those in some current favorites because I've been using those nonstop anyway from my everyday makeup drawer. I will leave that link down below. And I've also been talking about my top five. So a lot of my favorites have been favorites for a long time. So we're going to get into the boxes and talk about some hair favorites that I cannot keep my hands off of. So let's just jump right into the video. One of my favorites is coming into the room right now. Joseph, come here. This is my favorite. This is one of my favorites. The other favorite is at the movies. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Are you a favorite of mine? Okay. Yeah, are you a favorite? Are you gonna talk to the people? Say hi. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Give me a hug. Aww. He knows he's gonna go get a snack. Love you. Give me a kiss. Kisses. Mm -hmm. Okay. First favorite is my jojo okay so one of my favorites is this a necklace this i got from actually her boutique they sent this to me but they were like pick out a necklace and we'll send it to you and i was like okay but i don't know if you guys know that turquoise is a my a birthstone yes so i picked out this necklace and i already had talk about destiny I already had these earrings already to go with it i will link this down below um this was sent to me but of course y'all uh, i kind of got stuck for hours on that site but yes yes I, I i really do love this and it's a statement piece but like this is the thing about statement pieces i'm one that likes small and dainty so I can't have it too, too bulky or I will not wear it. I won't. I just won't. So I love this. Joseph, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, Joseph might be in this favorites video, y'all. I'm collabing with Joseph. <laughs> oh, let's start with Ziha. So three products that I want to talk about. Two are from Camille Rose from the Coconut Waterline, the Style Setter, and the Penetrating Hair Treatment. I do have reviews. I'm not going to talk long about these, but these are amazing. Yes, I'm going to repurchase these, and these are favorites. I have it in my hair right now, both of these products, and, well, this one I rinsed out. I have the Penetrating Hair Treatment. I rinsed this out, of course, but the Style Setter, I absolutely love it. I use it as a leave-in conditioner and I talk about that in the review but I absolutely love these two y'all have been telling me girl get on the bandwagon stop sleeping under a rock and get these and finally I did another drugstore product I have been loving is the Shea Moisture this is the Hyperosity Moisture Soul Shampoo I love this it has bamboo boabab I'm sorry protein and apple cider vinegar that's probably why I love it so much because it cleanses my hair but this is one of the most moisturizing shampoos that I've ever had in my hair in my curly life okay this gives me the curl poppage ah. factor that I'm looking for I really do love this I did do a review on this as well so I'm not going to talk about it too much but just know it's a favorite so though these are ones that i have been loving non-stop and i just have been enjoying <sighs> shout out to all your glam moms that's working hard what are you doing don't be, they know you're not innocent. Your eyes does not make you innocent, Joseph. See how he's smiling? He know he's not innocent. Okay, let's talk about a bronzers. I have been loving using bronzers that are pressed powders. I have this one from CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Queen collection. This is an amazing bronzer. I love their bronzers, but they are so hard to find. And some of the the how what do you call them some of the stands that actually have the cover girl queen they don't have the bronzers there i've been using this press powder and it is q415 medium gold it is their lasting matte press powder this is so good 
This is about three shades deeper than my skin tone. So this is the bronzer that I actually have on today. What are you doing to my hair? You know that you have playful hair. Oh, Joe! Stop! I know my hair is super soft. It's the Camille Rose! It's the Camille Rose, Joe! <laughs> this I have been loving, and this is a great bronzer. I highly recommend, if you can't find a bronzer that you love, find the foundation or the pressed powder if you don't wear foundation. If you... I highly recommend you trying to find a pressed powder or a foundation that you absolutely love and go about two to three shades darker. Use that as your bronzer. I'm s I'm sure you will not be disappointed. And if you haven't seen my video of my everyday makeup drawer, I am doing that to kind of get some rotation and some use of some other products. Otherwise, I totally get hooked on it. This one is from Lorac. This is in the shade Prism. This is such a beautiful shade. Now, I saw... Tiff Jeff 69 here on YouTube talk about this. This is Lorac in the shade Prism. This is their blushes. I don't I don't even see what it says. But first of all, thank you for making it easy to open because I have some blushes that I love, but they are extremely hard to open. So thank you so much for Lorac. The simple things, I'm just saying. This reminds me of Mac Peaches in a way, but I love how smooth and creamy these are. This makes me want to get more. I have been sleeping on Lorac blushes and Tiff, you told me girl, you told me. Another blush I have been loving is the one I'm wearing today. This is Taj Mahal by NARS. One of the most eccentric, I think, blushes. All of their blushes are eccentric, but I love them because number one, they are so long lasting. I don't think I'm going to get him to stop Ooh. in messing with my hair. And so this is the only time I can film y'all. I'm so sorry. I absolutely love this blush. It has a orange but a kind of gold shift on it. I absolutely love this blush. It is, I would say, a dupe. If you have Sephora Hot Flush, I want to say um, I saw my girl, my sis, um, CJ of Beauty Essentials talk about this. I really do think it might be a dupe. I highly recommend if you have not tried out this blush, if you have deep skin, this blush was made for you. The thing that I have been loving, this is the Dr. Brent Dark Circles Away. This is such an innovative product and it actually has kind of like you push down on this and the product comes on the ball and you put it under your eye and it's supposed to smooth it out. It is so amazing. It has intrigued Joseph. My beauty boxes I want to get into because I do have some favorites from there. So let's just jump right into it. First box we're going to go into is BoxyCharm. This is the one from last month. And I'm going to already tell you the Brow Gal. I am in love with this company. I am in love with this company. I love the brow shades in here. Um, it, You could use a blonde, blonde or someone with reddish hair brunette and even dark brows can use this the formulation is very very smooth almost to the point that if i wanted to use these as eyeshadows look how pigmented those are lord so pigmented brow gal i'm gonna look into more of their products but i also love their pencil let me show you i love the benefit high brow but you know sometimes you want something that you can go to and these are really great brow products i have learned that I love for my brows brow powder this is the browsings by benefit which I absolutely love because it has a wax that's the only thing about this product I wish it came with a wax because it has an amazing mirror the formulation of these are stellar I love the pencil that I got I think I got this in a boxy charm previously and it has an illuminating side and a creamy side and it's so easy to just clean up your brows with a product like this. I did use this today, but this is a winner for me. I definitely love the Brow Gal and I am sold on the brand. The next thing I have been loving, now let me tell you about this, let me tell you. Tim 2, this is a liquid glow. This is, I think, their first illum illuminating like liquid makeup. Y'all, I'm gonna show you something. This reminds me so much of 
the Marc Jacobs Do Do You Do Drops. It is insane. Now this one is a little bit more liquidy. This is more liquid. The Marc Jacobs is more of a gel, but if you have the Temp2, be very, very happy that you have it. Now, the Do You. Hold on now, I paid. This ain't cheap. Okay. Y'all, let me show you. This is, oh my goodness. Now, the Marc Jacobs come off, may come off a little bit more white. The Marc Jacobs is right here, and this is the illuminator, liquid illuminator from BoxyCharm from Tip 2. Um, the, you can tell that the one from Marc Jacobs is a little bit more gold, and the one from Tip 2 is a little bit more beige, but I promise you, on the face... Oh my goodness, these are just way too much. I can see the one is more gold and the other one is more beige, but I'm telling you, it gives the same effect. I have been using it. I actually use the Marc Jacobs under my, my makeup today. It gives such a great illumination. These are the type of products that in the summertime, if you didn't want to put on foundation and you wanted that glow, this is going to give it to you. I'm so glad that I have this. And yeah, this is definitely liquid glow in a bottle that takes it up some notches. So I love this. Okay, so the next thing, I actually, I'm going to keep this and I love the guard. I'm going to actually put this in a giveaway. And the reason why is because Spare, a company, actually send this to me. This is from Crown Brush. Now, I already love Crown Brushes. This brush right here has been saving, slaying my game. Oh my goodness, I've been using this for highlighter and this is an amazing bronzer as well. But these are so good and I really have been enjoying this. But this one I'm going to actually save for a giveaway, but I love this type of brush. This one is amazing for foundation. I also have one the same, just like it. And it's from a brand from, I'm sorry, it's dirty, but... It's just, I mean, it's the, it's almost like identical. Do y'all see that? Anyway, I want to save this because this has a guard. And I want to save this for one of you guys for a giveaway. Uh, and as a matter of fact, what I will do is I will put this in the giveaway for this month's mystery bag, makeup bag. So you see one thing that you're going to be getting. I love when I do things like this. And that's what I'll probably do is if it's something that I know that I have already and it's in one of the boxes, I will definitely give it in the giveaway. So the winner will be getting a brush with their makeup bag. By the way, let me tell you, before we get before we get to the Ipsy, y'all, in my uh, end of school giveaway, I'm giving away the bag. So I don't even know where the products are. But I did love that bag. <laughs> I did love the products in there. So that, yeah. Oh, the brown gal gave me a brush. I forgot about that. Yeah, I love the brush too. As a matter of fact, let me put this over here. I love brushes like that. So thank you, brown gal, because I, I'm just floored by that. Now, this one is the Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY. I have not decided if I want to use this or not. I Obviously, I did not try it to let you guys know if it was a favorites or not, but I did want to show it to you. I might be giving this away in a future giveaway because I think the shades, no, I might try this because the highlight two, one, two, and three, I definitely could use. And I probably could use contour three to contour. So um, yeah, I'll probably give this a shot because this is a brand IBY inspired by you that I have not, I want to dig into because I have some other things by by them i might do a dedicated video for iby because i have quite a bit of their products so yeah i'll just move on and talk about this in another video but i didn't get a chance to try this and mind you i don't get to try everything in the boxes but i try my best to get through these let's go on to sephora play the bag was bomb i loved it love 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 and let me talk about this they gave me the milk makeup blur stick I'm so glad that they put this in here because I don't like it. I don't. And this is so hyped up on YouTube. It just rolled up on my skin and it did not give me, it gave me smoothness, but it did more 
it's just gonna smooth i don't even think i don't know if it even minimizes pores but i feel like that this was so hyped up the benefit pore fashional does more than this um if you have any pore fillers or anything that's going to smooth your skin my moisture my l'oreal moisture blur to me does better than this if you're cruelty free and vegan if you like that type of thing you might like something like this but this is only going to smooth but i had issues with this if you have dry skin i don't recommend this i'm just saying i'm so glad i got this in my sephora play because i probably this is a product that probably would have gotten returned i'm just saying because it just did not do the job let's just move on because this is so hyped up and i'm like totally disappointed totally but that's how i feel that's how i feel <laughs> yes trustee i have been using them in my boxy charms and i've been getting them in my ipsy glam bags i love this product mm. just because i can use it at mm. concentrated points this reminds me a lot of the benefit what's mm. up that's um, a swatch right there reminds me a whole lot of the benefit what's up this is super duper creamy the only thing about the benefit what's up is that because it has a little bit more stickiness to me it lasts longer this one is one that you really are gonna have to set I don't think that I would use this by itself so I would put this is a great I would say highlighter primer which you put one you put this on first and then you want to put a powder on top this is something that you want to use but I did like this now let's talk about something that I really liked this is the delectable triple moisture body lotion it's coconut cream this was super duper good I really like it and it smelled amazing so good I think this is from my Ipsy Glam bag. I don't think this is from my Sephora. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. But this is really good. This is from my Sephora. This is for my Ipsy Glam bag. Yeah, this is from my Ipsy Glam bag. But I really did like that. Now, this is Rahua. I think this is Omega hair mask. I have not tried this either. I'm kind of skeptical, skeptical with hair mask, but I promise I'm probably gonna. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. This only has 22 milliliters. I need like at least two ounces of product when I want to do a good deep condition. Y'all, I don't know about this. Hopefully, deep conditioners, not so good in the Sephora Play because I feel like you need to get a good amount. Yes, in the BoxyCharm because they're giving you full amount, but yeah. This is the Tata Harper. This is the Next Generation Beauty. This is a face product. But it's not saying oh it's the resurfacing mask i have not gotten a chance to try this y'all i have not and it's it feels like it's a chemical type of resurfacing because i don't feel any exfoliants in it like the granules but it smells good i've heard great things about tata harper can't wait to try this sunkiss alba uses that and i really follow her for her clean makeup reviews Speaking of clean, this is Clean Reserve. Let's see how this smells. Slash unboxing, right? Because I have not tried this. I have so many perfumes, y'all. Ooh, I like how it smells. I like it. Clean. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to see what that reminds me of. Reminds me of replica. Or commodity. Ooh, or Joe Malone. It reminds me of one of their scents. Maybe the peony, the roses one. This is a lip plumper. I was scared to use this, but this is Grande Lips. I'm going to hold on to this because I am going to be talking about some lip plumpers for summer. We want Botox in a bottle, not the actual needle. But this Sephora play was like meh. It was like more stuff I haven't tried. It didn't excite me, but yeah. Ipsy. Y'all. The Ipsy Glam Bag I liked a lot, but because I gave it up for that back to school giveaway, a lot of stuff got mixed up. But I did love this lotion and I kept it with that. So, yeah, those are my favorites of the month. As always, don't forget to click the link down below because I will be giving away a Glam Bag. And y'all already saw that one of the items I'm putting in that Glam Bag. This is a good one, y'all. I know I said last week, last month was a good one. This one is another good one. And it's the ice cream. I'll give you a hint. 
You're getting a makeup brush. You're getting two makeup brushes. You're going to be ready for summer with this one. So, yeah. Don't forget to enter the giveaway down below. I'll leave that in the description box. And as always, I will use gleam and yeah thanks so much for watching please subscribe and i will see you in the next video love you guys bye